Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to a brand new tactics video and today's a bit of a surprise and we are going to be going over Unai Emery. Obviously just been appointed to Aston Villa and we're going to be going over his 4-4-2 today. So let's get into it. Now before I do show you the first set of results that we do have for this testing, be sure to smash the like button below and do subscribe to the channel. There's going to be another tactic coming out this week as well so definitely get on board. But the first test we've done is with former side PSG, by far the strongest side we are going to be testing with today. And as expected, we absolutely dominated it. We managed to thump the French League by quite a good points advantage, finishing first in the French League. We also managed to win the French Cup and also the Trophy de Champion against FC Nantes. Unfortunately, a bit of a poor display in the Champions League, but Inter Milan are a very, very top side. Now, going into some of the player stats, now, there were actually a lot of goals scored in this system, but that's because we have got a lot of world-class players. Now, tactics are very difficult to make at the moment, in my opinion, because defending seems to be so difficult inside the football manager. The match engine is really difficult when it comes to that, and also you've also got the issues with the goalkeepers, but we actually managed to get a lot of stuff right with this system in terms of defending and also getting enough goals to win important matches but as you can see here it's absolutely disgusting stats Kylian Mbappe 51 appearances 41 goals and 14 assists you got Neymar with 47 appearances 28 goals and 33 assists and Lionel Messi the worst performer actually out of the three going to be 47 appearances with 26 goals and 10 assists still very good um i'm not, not going to read out every single one because you guys can easily see that for yourselves and we just want to go over the main sort of goal scorers in the system but in terms of the actual stats i was very happy um especially with a defendant actually only conceding 0.5 a game now you see it everywhere in the community at the moment people are always talking about how difficult defending does seem to be on the current ma the match engine it's I don't want to slate it because I'm a big advocate of football manager. I love the game. But defending and goalkeepers are two things which definitely need tweaking. And I think after the response that the community's given, I think we will definitely be seeing them make changes to that. Because to be honest, you can have the best defence in Europe and still look like you're playing the Sunday League defence. It is very, very... I don't really know what they've done, but it's definitely not where it should be. But 0.5 conceded, which is exceptional considering the circumstances and team attacking 2.79 so we're scoring over two goals to what we're conceding which means that you are going to win majority of your games which we did um obviously i know we did slip up in the champions league but that is a very very tough competition and psg never really have had that ice of the champions league but pass completion relatively high and 82 percent obviously in this system unai emery isn't known for his tiki taka is he he's known for sort of holding off being that sort of defensive team going to get the goals and then he forces the other team to come to him and then they commit more and more men forward you can go and score again and again he's very good at that and i'm really excited to actually see him in the premier league um for the second time obviously previously at arsenal but with a team like villa he hasn't got the same standard of players as what he did at arsenal so i think it honestly could suit him better because he seems to perform better with players that necessarily aren't known as these world-class ones now, we're going to go over to Villarreal, and I was really impressed with where we finished, considering they're actually seventh at the moment in real life. Very disappointing, though, in the Spanish Cups, I will say, and obviously the Conference League path, which, again, against the Nice, I believe we should be beaten. Um, but to finish third in the BBVA, the Spanish division, whatever you want to call it, ahead of Atletico Madrid by quite a few points as well, is a massive accomplishment. Obviously, Real Madrid and Barcelona are levels ahead. But to finish third, considering their current placing, I think you'll take that any day of the week. Obviously, getting them back into the Champions League football, which is always good to see. Um, Villarreal actually have got a very good team. And in my opinion, it's going to be interesting to see them with a new manager to see if they decide to play a little bit more expansive because I do believe they've got the players to do so. If we go into look, just a little look at the squad, again, this time around, because we haven't got as select many world-class forward players, it does actually fall on Gerard Moreno, who is easily the top goal scorer. 33 goals, then it drops down to 10 here. Couple of nines, eight, seven, six, five, five, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, in terms of assists, it's actually going to be Pino and Dan Juma, which is expected. They are the sort of, you know, wide players. It would make sense for them to get the assists. And it's going to be Parejo and obviously Morales there. Morales there, however you say that. I do apologize. But one thing I will say with this, and obviously this is purely based to replicate Emery's tactics, you're not going to be scoring tons upon tons of goals when you use teams like this when you if you if you guys are using a team as i know a lot of you guys are at the moment because it is the beta you just want to get used to the game if you're using this with a psg a man city a liverpool um you know these top teams Bayerns, uh all these top teams all these top teams then you are going to see goals upon goals because you've got so many world-class players 
if you play with a team that isn't like the favourites in the division, you are going to be more looking for your strikes to be getting the goals. So my bit of advice would be make sure you have a little bit of depth in that position because that is going to be typically where your outlet is. But that being said, let's go into the data hub then. Team defending, just over a goal conceded per game. Obviously, we're not the favourites in this division by any means of the imagination. It is a lot harder um, for that reason. Obviously, and with the match engine, I don't want to keep blaming it on that. I know I said the words match engine so many times in my previous tactic video, but I'm seeing it a lot at the moment with people that are creating tactics. The defending just is not up to scratch. And this isn't horrific, just over a goal conceded per game but we were scoring towards two a game. So these games, it does mean basically these games are very, very close. But just as Unai Emery does set up typically, a lot of the games can end up being like that because if he doesn't overcommit forward, he'd rather soak up pressure, let them commit and then go forward and score. Sometimes that takes a very long time in a game to happen. And sometimes it doesn't happen. So my one bit of advice, or my third bit of advice this video, I believe, just because you download a tactic, if you're dominating the game, for example, and you're not scoring, change stuff you can't just download a tactic and think it's going to win every game certain things do have to be tweaked in the games obviously in this scenario i holiday simulate everything so i can't do that myself but if you're in a position where you go a goal down in the first five minutes obviously tweak some stuff um because this system is designed pretty much just to replicate his game style and obviously sometimes himself included will tweak this in game if needed to do so but pass completion actually slightly higher, which does surprise me. I'm obviously with a slightly worse off team. But again, I'm very happy with the, um, the stats here. Getting on for two goals a game and conceding just over a goal a game there compared to the expected 1.14. So overall, I'm going to take a third place finish. The only thing I would have wanted ideally is a lot better display in the Conference League. Go over to Aston Villa and this is where my confidence in this tactic shoots right up because we managed to finish third in the Premier League, getting Villa Champions League football in one season with no extra signings. It was very close though. Equal points with Newcastle, who had again a very impressive season. I'm not scoring the most goals though arsenal with a point less and chelsea with two points less so very very close but we did maintain it we also had quite a good display in the fa cup getting all the way to the final unfortunately we did lose <clears throat> do apologize to liverpool 2-1 in the finals but to get to the fa cup final and get top four i think that's more than enough for aston villa and i think a lot of people would be happy with that and if i was a villa fan and this happened I'll be over the moon with it. I'll take that as a United fan. So definitely as a Villa fan. Now, in terms of the stats then, in terms of players, Ollie Watkins, I mean, he's come alive under my management. 38 goals. You've got Danny Ings contributing with um, 16 goals as well. It's going to be assists. We've got 22 from Buendia and Coutinho. Then wingers really coming alive there. And we are going to go in into a little bit more depth when we actually hop into a game and watch it and talk about how they sort of set up. Again, the stats do drop off a little bit past there. But as I did say, and I will keep saying again, if you're playing, the better team you are, the more goals you're going to score naturally because you've got better players. But this system is very set up upon keeping the game close and pinching it you are going to have a lot of close games and the games where you do sort of beat them by three or four goals typically will be when you get an early goal they have to keep committing and committing and committing and then you can just keep hitting them back hitting them back hitting them back a lot of these games are going to shape up close into the data hub then team defender now this is going to be slightly higher because you know again i'm not going to say the words but you know what i'm getting at also we're aston villa in the premier league they are quite known for conceding quite a few goals i would say um Hopefully, with Emery coming in, that can sort of shape it up. But until defending is somewhat functional on this game, I cannot expect to get under a goal conceded. And you'll see, actually, with this system, the one thing which I possibly have changed, which we are going to talk about as well, which is the only difference I would say there's a slight tweak between me and 100% replicating Emery. This, this I'll say, is about a 90% a ninety replica of Emery, but there's just some things at this stage of the game which you can't do. Because if I, I, I tested this about three times, tweaked it to get it to a perfected version, and we're going to go into that when we actually break down the tactic. But conceded per game is going to be 1.42, Goals is going to be over two in the Premier League, so 2.29. So we're still scoring a lot more than what we're conceding, hence where we got to where we got. Pass completion, pretty much bang on 82%, which I will take in this scenario. Um, very happy with that. This will never be ridiculously high because we are playing them longer balls. So 82% is relatively good as well. But what we're going to do now is we're going to go over and we're actually going to watch an in-game 
for such in-game footage, whatever you want to say, in the 2D viewer, as I know a lot of you guys do enjoy that segment of the video. So this is the game I've picked out. It's going to be the 3-0 win in the French Cup final. Now, we are just going to be watching the goals today because we've actually still got a breakdown on the tactic. We spent quite a lot of time sort of actually going over the, att the attributes, the stats and things like that. So we're going to be actually... Going just over the goal is going to be Hakimi down the right-hand side, into Soler, into Mbappe. So it is a slightly more direct approach with this system compared to, for example, the 4 3 one I uploaded about three to four days ago. That's slightly more focused on possession, slow build-up play. This is definitely a more direct hit them when they're weak, hit them when they're down sort of system. So Mbappe ball out wide, which is going to be into Soler, who does wake up eventually into Messi. Another more direct ball into Mbappe into the bottom left corner, which there's no shame playing this way. I feel like it's one of the one of the worst things, not one of the worst things, but football nowadays always has to be short passing, all of this, all of that, where this sort of style does still work, making them commit, then hitting them with long balls, hitting them with not even necessary long balls, but slightly more direct balls. They don't have to be completely diagonal passes, but I do feel like playing this way still works and it is really effective. This is going to be the third goal here going in from a set piece, something you are going to be getting as well. Very good with set pieces. And as you can see, it was a game which we definitely deserve to win. Absolutely thumped them. Um, 24 shots, nine on target with nearly four XG. So this just shows that although we are a defensive side, you still are going to be having lots of shots and possession is something we're not really too focused on. So even in a game where we absolutely dominated everything, we did end up having less possession. So before we do break down this tactic though, guys, in depth, be sure to leave a like on this video and do subscribe to the channel. It helps out massively and is completely free to do so. So this is going to be the Emery 442. Now, I'm hoping he does play like this at Villa. Obviously, things can change. He's also known to play a slightly 4-1-4-1 four, four, one, four, one style, as I did make a tactic on that. But he also does line up with this sort of style. And this is him all over, in my opinion. Now, the one thing I did change, and I'm going to be straight and honest with you, is the attacker mentality. And the football manager I found especially, if you go into a game cautiously, which I would probably say he would do in terms of actual manager, you know, if I was to put him and a game style together. You can't do that on football manager, in my opinion, especially over a holiday sim, because you've got to take into account a holiday simulate everything. I'm Aston Villa. If I go into every game with that mentality, then it's going to be an absolute disaster because there's obviously teams which we focus on getting points from. When you're Aston Villa, you're a team like that in the Premier League. There's teams you have to go out and be a lot more positive against. And that is why the mentality is set to attacking. Feel free to change this though, guys. If you're like a mid-table side, you're going against Man City and you want the you want to try and hold off the whole game, then do lower it down to positive balance. Balance does work really well this year, but in my opinion, that's the only thing that I've personally changed. Now, let's have a little look then. So we're going to start off with what is going to be the back four. Now, again, it's, it's your average back four, just in, in this one. One of the central defenders is a stopper. So he does come out and try and stop stuff coming in. And he's a little bit more progressed up the pitch than the ball playing defender. The two in midfield worked really well for me. Having this DM actually on a support role, which I've never done before, was really, really useful. And having next to him a ball winning midfielder. So, you know, in the defender aspects of the game, you have actually got what appears to look like a back eight in, in, in many aspects. When you're defending, if you guys really wanted to, you could easily drop these back, have them as wide midfielders, and literally set up with a back eight and just leave these two up top. But onto the wingers, we've got like a, you know, on this side, we've got an inverted winger on the support duty. You don't want both of them on attack. It's too much. You don't need it. And on this side, we've actually just got a winger, a default winger on the attack. Two up top, we've got a press and forward who's slightly more advanced and a deep line forward on the support duty as well. But we're going to get into them player roles in a moment. Let's actually look at these in possession, in transition and out of possession. So to start with, obviously, attack and mentality. In possession, fairly narrow, pass into space, play out of defence, standard and slightly higher. Now, you don't want to do this because that then becomes sort of ticky-tacker. With this, guys, don't be put off by the directness because... It doesn't mean every ball is going to go long. It just means that when there is an option, it is going to be hit. And in this system, it works very well, especially considering you've got two up top. Now, final third, mix crosses and run at defense. In transition then, counter press, counter, nothing selected here and distribute to the center backs and short goal kicks. Now, again, this is purely down to the match engine. If you guys are encountering a lot of mistakes, because I have seen it a lot with goalkeepers taking way too long on the ball, making loads of dodgy passes, 
feel free to tweak this but obviously this is just to make it as accurate as i could do but if you are encountering them mistakes just get them to hit it low and go quickly because goalkeepers are a little bit dodgy this year out of possession and this is where we are going to see the emery sort of style and you know this can definitely be tweaked as well as i said if you go a goal down you can look into this and you know you can tweak it as you go but we're going to start off with a much lower defensive line low block line of engagement we are a very defensive side we're happy about it we can counter when we win the ball back and we can exploit them now trigger presses on much more often i have tested this with get stuck in but i got way too many bookings for my liking so i took it off you could also try drop off them all if you really wanted to be like Villarreal where they do sort of drop off a little bit. But granted, in some games, you actually see Villarreal be a little bit more energetic and try and win the ball back quicker. So that is why I've not selected anything on there and I've left all of this blank because it just works. And at the moment, I would, well, not at the moment, but in general, I would rather release a tactic for you guys that works and somewhat resents Emery as well, represents Emery as well, sorry, but feel free to have a little look around this stuff as well, but this is how I would line up to get the results that I did. Now, going into the player roles then, you want a sweeper keeper on the support duty with shorter pass and selected, over to the right back, which is going to be a fullback on the support duty, balanced and shorter passing. We don't tell him specifically to get further forward because he does anyway, and I don't really want him to be too further forward because at the end of the day, we are quite a defensive side. Going over to the left back. Again, exactly the same. Full back, balanced and shorter passing. Nothing special. I do feel like so many people can overcomplicate stuff, myself included. I've tried loads of this, different variations. Sometimes, the more basic, the better. Going over to the left-hand centre back. It's going to be a ball playing defender on the defend duty. It's going to be balanced and shorter passing selected. Next to him is going to be a central defender on the stopper, as I did mention. Going to be balanced and shorter passing again. The two in midfield is going to be a ball winner midfielder on the defend duty. Now, balanced and shorter passing selected. Next to him is just going to be a basic defensive midfield player on support. Balanced and shorter passing selected. On the left-hand side, we're going to go to an inverted winger on the support duty. We're going to get further forward on this one. Balanced, standard, and cut inside with the ball. On the right-hand side, we've got a winger on the attack duty. Going to be balanced, get further forward, stay wider, run wide with the ball, and standard with the pass and directness. I think this works so well because you've got two wingers that, can, that do different sort of things. One cuts in, one goes wide. You know, it's good to have two variations because you can switch up the attacks very well. And I would also, if I was playing, you can switch these mid-games. So possibly, you know, switch their instructions, vice versa like that, to really make it unpredictable. Going up to the two up top, we've got a deep line forward on the support duty. We're going to have him on balance, stay wider, hold up with the ball and standard with roam from position on. I like having him on stay wider purely because he links up very well with this player then. That is why. That's the thought process behind it. Again, feel free to tweak it. Next to him is going to be a press and forward on the attack duty. More often, standard, we shoot more often. Now, we're going to go over a couple of things I think you can do if you are a goal behind. So I'm going to quickly do it because I know this is quite a long tactics video now. But the two in midfield, you can simply push up, possibly have a centre mid automatic or a Roman playmaker. You could also consider putting this left hand side of player on an attack duty as well. You could push the fullbacks up a little bit as well. So there are lots of things you could do to try and chase a goal if needed. If you, vice versa, you're trying to defend the lead, drop the wingers back, change the mentality to cautious possibly, possibly even, you know, drop the, um not drop the line, sorry, like hold off on the defense sort of let the pressure come to you just soak it up things like that because again especially in this system if you've got two good center backs you shouldn't really struggle with balls coming into the box but that is going to be it for today's video guys hope you guys have enjoyed it if you have be sure to smash the like button be sure to comment below as well what manager you want to see next however the next one is going to be spalletti which is going to be coming out on the weekend sometime but that is going to be it for me today guys and i'll see you in the next one